Gary Ward from Canyon Run Engineering. We just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you a little bit of the tooling that we've made for General Electric over the years uh, for inspection of the different components. And one of the things we did many years ago is we standardized a lot of this tooling on our risers for eddy current inspection, ultrasonic inspection. So there's a whole pattern as you can see on here right there and here that will drop over the uh, locating pins on there and over here and the part goes on and it gets clocked through the bolt holes here so we have probably 50 different designs 50 different parts some of them are half up some of them are off down but this design carries consistently through any of our eddy current tooling and ultrasonic tooling. It also works on our scrubber system for cleaning the uh, webs and the spools and the FPI system. Everything is completely interchangeable. We have probably 50 designs, different designs for different components of these parts here. We call these clamshells. Um, this is one of the stainless steel risers we have, and depending on your part sizes and heights, we have a couple of uh, variable heights of those. So we also have a design of locator blocks like these that'll fit down through these holes, listed out with the GE part numbers, tells you whether the aft is down or whether the aft is up and it's about this radius size. So again it's all interchangeable for all of the different uh, tools that we build. Same way with this one. Uh, different part numbers here, different radius sizes here, but it snaps in to the uh, precision downhole locators along here and it goes just around the perimeter. This is a scanner design that we did many years ago. So you put uh, whatever type of scanner, bolt hole scanner you're using in here. We have seven varieties of this, depends on which scanner you have. And then they can just scan down through the holes. We have several different end effectors that can be bolted on to the end of this depends on what parts you're checking and whether it's a Roman scanner or uh, Stavely or any of the others that have to be out there in the field. This is a common part that we run so we keep an inventory several different components up to a certain machining level so when we get the order we can turn them over pretty quickly. These are some of the components we've used in the past in our scrubber system that we designed and built for General Electric for the spool cleaning systems to get back in between the webs. So it's these details here. Um, so they would put our fixture on. There are airbags that go inside of these that get scotch bright on them. There's one air connection here, and all these airbags blow up inside the webs, and then this will rotate uh, at a slow RPM, and it polishes the web and uh, ID of the inside of the spool. Then uh, we have several different styles of eddy current probe holders. Um, this is one that we've done a lot of of course, stainless steel, it has a ball slide in it, precision ball slide. We have a, a short arm, it's replaceable. This will come off and you can put the medium length arm or the long arm, depends on what area you're getting back into the component on. We also have a quick change, we call this a bayonet connector. This particular one was designed for the ultrasonic 
machine. There's a bar that goes across here and then this cam shape in here and you literally just slide that in and twist it and it holds it rigid. There's a wavy spring in here. It keeps constant tension on it so it's not loose. We also have various lengths of extensions. Uh, again, this one is uh, eddy current. This is for the Easy Eddy system. And we have three or four different lengths of these. These are made out of titanium. Uh, they also snap in. Again, we have the standardized bayonet connector. It's the eddy current machines and the ultrasonic. We designed this because it gets so long with the sensor out on it, it's difficult sometimes for the uh, Easy Eddy system to be able to handle the weight when it's cantilevered out that far. This was, uh, again, quick change. That same bayonet connector, snap in and out. Uh, this is end of arm tooling for a robot. So you can loosen this screw and it'll quickly rotate 90 degrees. Uh, when you're going down inside of a part, if you need to go to 90 degrees, it's really fast. So this will just swing out and then you run the screw in here and it'll lock the uh, probe in at a 90 degree position. So this is one of our stock items. These are more eddy current probe holders. Again, long, medium, short. Uh, another style here. Again, weight was an issue, so we tried to reduce as much of the weight out of it as we could when it's cantilevered out off the end of the inspection arm. This is some spare tooling that we had for a drilling fixture for the engines, but I mainly brought these out just so you can see the quality of the machine work that we typically do here at Canyon Run. Uh, and this is one of our in-house tools. This is a uh, pair of centers that we built and we have to grind the centers on it here but it's for checking concentricity on the part. This is one of the arms off of our FPI system. This particular arm fits the GE90 and the 9X spools so it's designed with a retractable slide down here so you can pull that back or extend it out through this mechanism here. And it's designed to push the bore scope down through this tube, make a 90 degree turn here, come out to this point, and then lock it in its position. Then they would drop the scope down through the bore of the part with the slide retracted. Once they get it in at the correct level, then they can release it to its open position. And if they need to stop short of the sidewall, there's a scale along the side here. They just have to record what dimension they need to extend it out to. And that will lock up into any position they might need. 